study our skeleton, we've brought Trenton Holiday, an expert in Neanderthal body proportions, to New York. He spent a career studying their bones in isolation. Now, he's about to meet the world's first complete Neanderthal. This is, this uh, is the guy. Did a great job, Gary. Yeah? Did a great job. I love it. And with no cakewalk doing this guy. No, yet. I imagine not. <laughs> it's fantastic work. Law for Rossi clavicles. Oh, yeah. And the feet are primarily... The thing that, that amazes me is I, I've studied all of these pieces individually, but until you see it put together in this fashion, articulated like this. It really gives you an appreciation for the Neanderthal as an individual. From the shape of the skull, Gary and his team meticulously recreate the face of our Neanderthal. And using Gary's scientific recreation as a template, we were able to bring our Neanderthal to life with startling anatomical accuracy. The skeleton reveals our Neanderthal to have been an extraordinary creature. He stood no more than five feet four inches tall, but he had an immensely powerful build. Our team's hope is that this skeleton will provide answers to those great questions. Was Neanderthal a simple-minded brute? And why is it that we're here and he's not? For Trent and Holiday, one of the most striking features is the skeleton's rib cage. What I find amazing about the rib cage reconstruction is if you notice, the ribs continue to flare out as we go inferiorly. This is something that doesn't happen in humans. In humans, the ribs start to come in again, and we have what we refer to as a waist. It appears that this Neanderthal did not have a waist. One explanation for the shape of this rib cage and for the overall shortness of the limbs and the compactness of the body is that it's related to cold adaptation, that a short, compact body with a voluminous chest is going to help retain heat better in a cold environment. The theory certainly makes sense. Neanderthal lived during one of the toughest periods in human history. The last ice age. <laughs> 